What's up, pipe drivers? It's James with Pipe Drive again, here to tell you all about what's improved with Pipe Drive in the last 30 days or so, just in case you missed it. So imagine you're going about your day, closing deals and stuff, when blip, you get this notification in your sales assistant, and it's telling you your coworker has left a comment for you on your deal. Probably something pretty important, right? What we've done here is centralized all of your notifications into the sales assistant. Now, of course, you can customize it to see what kind of notifications you want to see. And there are some new options for at mentions and comments and assigned to you. Remember, you can always temporarily mute or switch off notifications in the sales assistant if you do need to get some more focus work in. Having this feature on the mobile app also means that you can be notified immediately when somebody mentions you or leaves a comment for you. Here you can also keep track of all the mentions and all the comments. And if you wish to configure these notifications, you can do so under Preferences, where you'll find Notification Preferences. Another change we've made is that real-time email notifications about the items you're following have now been replaced with hourly emails in your inbox. Now, workflow automation. That's a big subject for some people and possibly a complicated subject for some other people. Well, we've initiated the first of several updates for workflow automation to not only simplify the interface and make it more approachable, but also expand on its advanced capabilities. You can now create a workflow with sequences of automated actions based on a single trigger. So for example, let's say if you have some automation that automatically creates a deal for a contact, once you've changed a custom field or something like that, then you also would want to have that deal automatically get an activity scheduled for it at some time or something like this. Now before, if you wanted to actually get that done, you would have to create two different workflows to accomplish this. Now you can create a whole number of actions based off of just one single trigger in one single workflow. Also, you can now have custom due dates for activities. The interface itself has also received a small makeover to make things more intuitive. Now, if you want to learn a lot more about workflow automation and these updates that have happened, as well as see some specific use cases, why not check out the link to see the latest webinar that we had with our actual product manager of workflow automation, Nudo. Now, some of you are probably familiar with the fact that you can include a video conferencing link in your activities, and this worked before with Microsoft Teams and Zoom. Well, now we've added Google Meet. We've also added the Google Meet integration to the meeting scheduler. What this means is that after you've set up your scheduler with Google Meet, whenever meetings are booked with you, a Google Meet video call link is automatically attached to that meeting invite. If you have your calendar sync enabled, then the video call links on your pipe drive activities are also synced to your external calendar as well. And speaking of integrations, our invoicing area now integrates with QuickBooks so you could manage invoicing life cycles right within Pipedrive. If you have any of these invoicing integrations set up, you'll find the invoicing tab in the deal details view where you can create new invoices for your contacts. And last of all, let's talk about those beautiful insights, reports, and dashboards. You'll all love to know that you don't need to manually update time periods in your insights anymore. Now you can create rolling date filters and date filters for future periods, reducing manual work. For example, you can set up a filter to show deals that were won during the last seven days. And after setting up the filter, you'll automatically see results from the last seven days every time you visit the Insights tab. This is available not only for reports, but also for your dashboards. And hey, we actually recently had a webinar talking all about Insights as well with the product manager of Insights. So check out the link if you want to see some practical use cases and explore this area a little more. And that about wraps it up for this month's update, everybody. As always, we really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, pipe drivers.